I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, you want me to elaborate? In the date auction, see, what we planned on doing was we have a couple girls that do our promoting stuff for us, and what we're going to do is have an auction, which was, you know, auction the girls off, and then they have a date with you at the show. You didn't have to leave with anybody. You didn't have to do... Anything sexual, nothing Liability like that. Liability insurance we had set up. We got we had like security set up, make sure nobody leaves with a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like it was going to be selling legit. People. Yeah. So they were able to yeah. shut you down just like that, huh? Yeah, they, but not only that, but it. a day before yeah. the concert, after we had spent fifteen hundred dollars on like promotion. No you know, all types of people showed up to this concert. And but we plan to take legal, legal action, so. Of, so you are going to take legal yeah, action? Yeah, we're going to take legal yeah, action. Yeah, we do have a lawsuit pending against the Elks Club in Newburyport, Mass. That is this is at an Elks Club they shut you down at? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Elks Club. It sounds like they don't got anything better to do. Yeah. They got a really big hall, though, so they, they do host a lot of venues. What do they do, cow tipping over there or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. Wow. Basically, the problem was is that when it came down to it, we are hip-hop artists, you know? And hip-hop... They didn't like the crowd. Cause objectification they, oh, of women like and hip-hop is a touchy, hand-in-hand -hand subject, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, if we were the Eagles, you know... I'm sure that they wouldn't have had a problem with us auctioning off a woman for charity. I mean, they do it all the time. There's one coming up for pediatric AIDS in Massachusetts, a date auction. So, you know, it's basically because we're hip hop. The stigma of hip hop like is the girls are bitches and hoes. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, that's also on us, too, because we do fit that stereotype a lot of times, you know? Yeah. So are yeah. you saying that rappers should step it up, too, and, and, and be more responsible with what they say? Yeah, I mean, no, we, we, were, we were very responsible with the way we were handling our date auction. And so when we try to step it up and be responsible, they don't give us a chance. They just yeah. shut us down. Shut we down. separate art and business pretty well. And like, you know, if, if there's objectification of women in our art, I don't believe, I don't think that's right. But but, but that's art. You, you can't know? and just say that, that hip hop is to blame. I mean, if women, well, these women are getting paid to dance and do their thing, right? I mean, ain't nobody, nobody put a gun to their head. Yeah, ain't nobody yeah. in chains or nothing like that. They're getting paid a lot of money, probably than the average person that's working. So, you know, you can't just blame hip hop. So, you guys ever thought of doing a show maybe in Framingham and do something? Yeah, Absolutely. we going to do the Civic League. We're Civic working League. on that right now. Yeah. We're working on that, and when can we look forward to that? Within the next two months. Yeah, definitely. Probably. Like, February, March, yeah. you know, we're trying to set something up right now. That's good. So can, can we hear some, get there. a taste, give the, give the listeners you a taste of something? You want to go first? Do something. All right. Picture clips getting shorted on a pound. The medic's going to find your A order on the ground and toss another round right inside my new SIG. I've been a new since ever since a little kid. My auntie tried to tell me, go and watch Jungle Book. I was in the back of my cousin watching a bundle cook. And I didn't know that it was Kane that he had. So I was 10. I thought paychecks came in a bag. Till the nigga came from the ab, explained what he had. Said I was young. They wouldn't search me. Put the cane in my bag. Said it was a dangerous task. Just bring him a stash. Every time the officer's passing, he gave me some cash. After a couple years that I passed, I learned about cash. How I wasn't making sh it was a pain in the ass. So then I came from the ad with a dangerous task, found a couple little people and explained what I had. Told them if they play with my cash, some things from the mag, I hop out and land straight in the abs. Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've been getting it before getting it was gotten by most by popping my toes, copping them rolls, dropping them old, chilling with popular hoes and clocking my dough. If you want it young and I got it for show, sure. and that's all day. Up in school serving just in the hallway. I was on my paw that you had bricks in the crawl space. Three years before Nike made kicks with LeBron James. Fiends hit me nightly, kid was flipping the tall weight. Now I'm by the Friday night. And when it arrives, get in my eyes, count my papes twice, jet in my ride, hit the highway lights. Hustle till I clock off like the time ain't right. A cheese steez gorilla, the people say that I'm a primate type. Cause I got red ass monkeys, all of my apes bright. I'm known around town, I slang white. By weight, put food up on my plate. Soon enough, I take flight. They know I ride around my streets with my safe off jack. Since my state all fiends, I keep my weight all crack. Move balls out of the park like a baseball bat. Slanging that Keenan and Kale, man, my base all that. Broke hustles is on my trail with the jakes all that. But I'ma break off, get ready for the takeoff lap. One pat out of the strap with the race all cats. 38 all clap, you get your face all splat. I got a lot on my city for Kane. A gritty your game, them twins can't hang when the video bang. I ain't the type that you consider your man. On the grind, never pause. Like, I'm addicted to video games. I bag work. Right. You, you We're problems. Spit? Nah, he don't spit. He's, he's a manager. Oh, okay, you the manager. Now, All right. You're, you're, I mean, I could spit oh, if it man. came down to I, I, I'm sort of like a, you know, I got a little like a puffy style to me. I mean, when it's necessary, I will step up to the mic. throw on the old school. So you got a show, right, what, in, in Haverhill? Yeah, um, Channel 22, 1012 Phoenix Row. They would have to chop it up, me and you, after the show. And, and they can watch that? Yeah, if they want to. Yeah. All, all right. I'm all about it. Well, basically, the show is about, like, what goes into, like, a studio. 
we we came up with the idea when um, Newburyport to take away some of that negative the negative attitude they so they can see what actually goes on in the mm. studio. So you know maybe a little bit be a little more open minded about what. Any projects you guys want to talk about before we head out? Um, freshman classes in sesh, you know, dropping very soon. We're almost done wrapping production on the album. Uh, we got you know I'd say ninety percent of it recorded. We're on our way. Uh, so that'll be dropping very soon. Um, I like to talk about, he's not here right now, he should have been here, but Young Streets, his album is coming out very, very soon. It's almost done, it's self-titled, and the album is crazy. Star Select went fire on this one, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, Star Select's our nice. producer, shout out to him, shout out to Twan Hill. DK, he's coming out with a new album too. It's just, this year's our year, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be nothing but fire coming straight from us and no one's, no one's touching us this year. <laughs> Put gold in. That's what's <laughs> up. Big Ham, you heard it first. Check out from on the YouTube, on the MySpace. Peace. Okay. All right. I'm so that way I can put it, type Definitely. it on. Definitely. Before you guys leave, I mean, we need to hear your instructions. Just keep it wide. Keep it wide. Um, so just do it again. All right.